The DeLorean Zephyr has crashed! Oh my god! It was like one of the most iconic engines, too. Look at it! Oh my god. Oh, we have a replacement coming, though. Oh, and there we go. Train 9 has crashed! No! What's happening? Replace that one, too. Oh my god. My trains, they're not even crashing, they're just exploding on the tracks. I think we're putting too much coal into these things, guys. Alright, let's just go ahead and buy all the stock. We're buying it! We're buying it! Oh look, the stock price is firing up! We're short squeezing! We're pulling a GameStop. Uh, I hope the stock price continues to go up. Oh my god, we failed. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're entering a more simple time. We are going back to the early 1900s to run a railroad and apparently run over mice and also pennies that are placed on the track. I guess kids did this back in the day. They put pennies on a track, little hobo children, and it would get flattened by the train and good times would be had by all. And then the conductor's like, hey, you kids, stop putting pennies on the track. And he's like, I'm going to run onto the trains and hide under the trains and nothing bad's ever going to happen to me. The railroad worker's like, where's that varmint kid? They're looking for him. He's like, no one's ever gonna catch me. He's like the gingerbread kid, only in human form. I don't know, he's just straight up, <laughs> just, why is there a homeless child running through the train yards? So random. I told you, simpler time though. Simpler time. These days, this child will be charged with violating the Patriot Act, given a hard 10 years in federal, in federal penitentiary. On an ice planet, just like in a, you know, dystopian sci-fi future. There is no, uh, there is no, uh, just sort of, uh, I don't know, carefree children running around train yards these days. Anyway, I don't know why we're continuing to talk about this. Let's get to the actual game here today. So, Railroad Tycoon, we have played, we played the original Railroad Tycoon, I think, um, a while back. Sid Meier's Railroad Tycoon. I think it was Railroad Tycoon. Almost 90% sure. If not, this game just ripped off Railroad Tycoon because I've taken a look at it. It's basically just Railroad Tycoon in 3D, which actually kind of excites me because I really liked Railroad Tycoon. Back when we played it on the channel, after I finished recording my episode, I actually played it for a couple of days after that personally um, and tried to build like a huge trade empire. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's build ourselves a train empire. We're going to go sandbox on this one. Just because we don't want any uh, limitations on what we can or cannot do. So, uh, what's alternate USA? Is that like a version of the USA where like the Nazis won? And, uh, you know, the, the America is taken over by, uh, by Germany? All, this is what I, this is what I, the first thing that comes to mind. Ooh, Chicago to New York, crossing the Alps. What's Dutch Lantis? <laughs> that's what, that sounds made up. East Coast USA, where did we... I think we built in England uh, last time. Ooh, Eastern Canada. Hey, all right, we're going to do that. I was going to say we should go in England just like we did last time. But I think Eastern Canada makes sense. Go west. You can also go to Ireland if you want for some reason. Uh, Mexico. I didn't know Mexico had trains. Uh, I mean, <laughs> every country has trains, but I didn't know they were like big into like, uh, you know, the, the trains historically. Poland, Russia, uh, many other places. Tex-Mex, Third Republic. All right, we're going to Canada. We're going home to the true north strong and free here. Where was it? Eastern Canada, right? I think I just skipped it. Eastern Canada, normal day-night cycle. Sounds good. Normal weather. Sounds good. Allow locomotives from any time period. No, Canada is not known for having radically advanced technology. We have we have reasonably advanced technology comparable technology to the rest of the world so we're not gonna break uh you know break down uh and just take technology from the future allow breakdown uh, crash of locomotives that's kind of cool all right sure let's risk it disable building city generation no we'll leave that off now we can go into the deep past or how far into the future can we actually go here we can go... Oh my god, oh my god, 20, 2070, 2080, 
to the year 2100. Okay, just for kicks. We're gonna start in 1930, the way the game was meant to be played, but I wanna play like five minutes in the year 2100 at the end. So let's just actually see uh, what we got going on here. So as you can see, um, oh look, we're starting in good old Montreal. Um, oh yeah, look at all these towns. Places I know. There's Toronto. We're gonna build the, the Montreal to Toronto line. There's Ottawa, that's the capital of uh, Canada. And uh, is Ottawa also the capital of Ontario? My God, I'm so bad at uh, knowing my Canadian geography. All right, places I have lived. London, Kitchener, Toronto. Um, I guess that's it. That's all that's on the map here. Well, there you go. Hey, but look, we have some American cities. Detroit and Flint. We have uh, Rochester, Buffalo. We have anything else cool? Ooh, Albany. Boston? You can go all the way to Boston. I can't do a Boston accent. <laughs> People make fun of me because my Boston accent... All right, I'll do it for you guys. We can't mock me. Okay, how does it go? Okay, here we go. I can't do it. Here's my, my terrible Boston accent. I'm trying. Keep in mind, I'm trying. Oh, I am from Boston. <laughs> oh, why did you tune into this video here today? All right. I'm going to stop being absolutely ridiculous and stupid. And uh, we'll go Montreal, Ottawa. Ooh, Kingston's pretty. Oh, I've been to Kingston. Never lived there. I mean, I've been to many places. Okay, well, Montreal, Ottawa, Kingston, Peterborough, Toronto, Kitchener, London. Maybe down to St. Catharines. Maybe we'll mix in Buffalo and Rochester, get some uh, American cities in there. I don't know what this is, Val d'Or. Never heard of that. Anyway, let's start in Montreal. So uh, this works just like Railroad Tycoon number one. Uh, first things first, you have to build a station. Um, or actually, no, you build, you lay some track to begin. So let's go, uh, we're gonna go, let's see, Montreal, and I guess we will go to this. We'll go like this. Boom, now we have linked up Montreal to Ottawa. That's gonna be a, a fortuitous route, I believe. Now we need to build a station. And when there's different size stations, we could go medium. I think Montreal deserves a large station. Definitely when we get to Toronto, we'll build a large station. Although, actually, do I already have a station there? It looks like I do, actually. Instead, let's uh, go here. We need a bit more track. Play a bit more track here. Gonna go. Oh, I kind of screwed myself with tracks in, uh, in Ottawa here. Uh, okay, hold on. Can I undo this? Okay, I can't. All right, well, we have a bit of uh, we have a bit of loose track that uh, serves no purpose here, but we're gonna go ahead like that, and then we will build our glorious large station to service Ottawa. All right, the people of Ottawa have a glorious new train station. Um, by the way, you can also build all sorts of other buildings here. Let's see. Where is it? Place a service tower. No. Um, there is a way to do this. I, di I did play the tutorial for this game. Because um, you can build, like, hotels and restaurants and all sorts of stuff. Uh, here we go. Well, add a volcano. Okay, we don't want to build any volcanoes in Canada. But you can go ahead and build a hotel. You can get, you can get into, like being a hotel baron or a restaurant tour and own taverns. You can build auto plants, breweries, you can build all sorts of stuff. So you can, you, you know, you are a railroad tycoon, but there's like many other industries you can like you know, dip your toes into. Uh, we will also build a maintenance facility. I'm gonna build it right over here. And we're gonna build a service tower here. And, okay, time to build some trains. Well, let's see, we have a few different models to select. The Northern. Uh, and by the way, the routes are going to be from Montreal to Ottawa and back. So here are the top speeds. And grade is sort of the levelness of the track. So when you go over mountains and stuff, you might have a 6% grade. Uh, so it's like you're 6% above level. Uh, whereas 2% grade, you're just a little bit 
So you're on a little bit of an incline. Zero percent is totally flat. Um, and then the number of cars that you're carrying. So the more cars, the slower you go. Um, wow, that was actually real fast. 95. But I don't think it deals with grades very well. It does not. You have to, like, weigh all this. Kind of like, like the bipolar, actually. Seems pretty good. Yeah, it actually has better stats, I think. In the northern. Alright, we're going bipolar. Wait, acceleration below average, reliability above average. Hmm. Oh, and it's an electric. Oh yeah, okay, we're going electric. Um Okay, you can also change the cargo. Um Now, one nice feature, one new feature in the Railroad Tycoon 3 here that wasn't in the previous ones, is you can let the computer automatically decide what you want to haul and frankly i think that's good because i don't know which of these need to go between ottawa and montreal probably lots of pulp wood and meat and rubber if i had to guess uh but it, you know the, allowing the computer to randomly decide this actually is very handy and it kind of feels like a like a a real world upgrade in terms of business management because frankly if you were running a business you would hire a middle manager to figure out what to actually haul. So I like that. Oh, you can add a caboose. Caboose reduces a train's breakdown chance by 50%. Dining car increases passenger revenue by 20%. Ooh. Um, I'm just going to let it go totally automated. We're hiring the best middle management that money can buy, and they're going to figure out uh, you know, what to do. So anyway... Go ahead, automatic. Buy this train. Your setup is not valid. You select an electric motive mode, but the route you selected has some non-electric track. Oops. <laughs> okay, I guess we're going northerner. We didn't build electric track. I wasn't really paying attention to track, but you can lay single, double. You can use bridges. You can bulldoze. Oh, let's bulldoze this little piece of track here that we do not want. Go. Okay, so that's good. We got rid of that extra track that was just hanging out in uh, Ottawa. I don't know how to actually build um, electric track, but anyway, uh, good enough. Let's go ahead and speed the game up, and let's check in on our trains. How do we do this? So, how do I get out of build mode? Um, oh, I'm in like painting mode. That either. Well, there's my train. There is a way to select the camera, though. Um, oh, look, you can get like a nice, beautiful view. All right, whoa, that train is zooming along. Look at this. We're about to make some cash here in good old Ottawa. Let's see what we did. Train one arrives in Ottawa. Go to it. Okay. So, I guess this. There we go. Now we're locked onto the train in Ottawa. Look at that. Look at that butte. Wait, lock onto it. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that. Woo! <laughs> Wonder what it's hauling. Seems to be hauling any cargo, any cargo, any cargo, and any cargo. Oh, it's getting service. We set up a service station between our two major areas to make sure that our trains don't break down. Um, oh look, I built a, a bit of a bridge. Didn't even know I did that. I guess it's water underneath. The game can't render water. Um, now apparently we have money, so it would be good to figure out how much money we've got. But, uh, our train has arrived. Okay, so I think we're making money. It's 100% tell. View ledger. Ledger is not available in sandbox mode. Oh, I think this mo just lets us do whatever we want. We don't even have to worry about the consequences of business. Huh. Well, I mean, that takes away a whole element of this game, so maybe we shouldn't hang out in this mode too long. Maybe this was actually just our tutorial, uh, me showing you guys how this game works. I, it's kind of sad. I wanted to link up all the way to, like, uh, Toronto and stuff. But frankly, if we can just build whatever we want and there's no money, that's not... I mean, the whole point of playing Railroad Tycoon is to, like, balance the budget, you know? Like, it's it's like it's like playing SimCity with infinite money. It's like, it's kind of fun for a bit, but... Having the restriction, the, the limitation 
of needing to earn money is definitely important. So you know what? We're going to go ahead and uh, quit to the main menu here. Yes, we're going to quit. All right, let's try this again. Let's try a new scenario here. And we can select... Okay, let's let's stick with Britain, actually. So we got to see Canada. That's fine. Um, computer players... Ooh, we can have a couple of computer players. Let's just have one. Play it on medium. We'll go ahead and start. And now I think we're actually going to need money. It is the dawn of the age of the railroads. Great Britain has an early advantage in the race towards industrialization. Creating a rail system can efficiently move both passengers and goods. Blah, blah, blah. All right. So now we actually need to worry about money. So we're going to start a new company. The company's name not not called great republic it's called um blazing blazing rails the blazing rails company the company logo i want it to be an ex something exploding uh, actually that looks pretty fast that's kind of like speed in uh, icon form so we're gonna invest as little as we can and we want the outside investment to pay for everything else but we can get a million bucks from outside investors. Okay, I guess we'll do that. It's worth it. All right. So there's our money. We have $1,100,000, which is a ton of money. We should just retire right now. All right, let's look for some big cities. Looks like, I mean, London's pretty big. And B Birmingham? Oh, look, Liverpool to Manchester. That's pretty good. Okay, let's do Liverpool to Manchester to Birmingham, Birmingham and then try and eventually make it down to London. But let's start over here because this is like a nice... Oh, we can even loop Preston in. Okay, this is going to be sweet. Let's, let's be forward thinking and build double rails, in fact. So we're going to go like this. There's 200,000 of our dollars. We're now going to do. On, how do we do this? This. Boom! I don't even know how much that costs. Do that. All right, there we go. We got a nice little trifecta. Let's uh, build some stations. So we're gonna build a large. Uh, hold on. Large station there. Then this rail a bit. Come on, come on. Okay, hold on, what's happening here? Uh, this rail. I can't get it to like go where I want. Okay, whatever. Uh, let's build a large station here. That's probably fine. And I think I'll just build a medium station up here because there's not that much to service up here. Pretty good. All right, look at these three. This is going to be our cash cow to begin. Now we have to think about trains. <laughs> we have the crappiest train ever, the planet. Uh, all right, planet. You have those three routes, those three uh, places. Uh, look at this. Fuel economy, atrocious. Acceleration, very poor. Reliability, poor. Passenger appeal, ultra cool. <laughs> It's like the dumbest engine ever, but people like it for some reason. Uh, all right, so we have set up one train. Let's buy another one, and we'll set up pretty much this opposite route. We can even look into cargo and just leave it all as uh, automatic. I really like that uh, you can set these trains up to like just be automated. Anyway, we spent the bulk of our investment. $80,000 was spent. Let's see if it was money well spent. Let's see if we can actually turn a profit here. Um, now, in terms of our train. Oh, one is leaving. So let's go ahead and check it out. Oops. Oh, two are leaving. This one is carrying absolutely nothing. And... Okay. Where's the other one? I'm gonna wait. Wait, you can select... Okay, hold on. I want to select a different train. There we go. Okay, this guy is actually carrying stuff. All right, he made 81... Oh my god, he just made the amount of money that we lost building up this stuff. Cool. 
Okay, let's build, we need to build like a maintenance thing so that our trains don't break down. Building costs 100,000. Uh-oh, we don't have enough money for it. Okay, we need to do a couple more runs. I'm gonna put a service tower here. And we'll make sure things stay nice and service and then we'll build a maintenance facility as soon as we can afford it. Now, we might have over-constructed because we built double rails between these cities that aren't really that big. But my thinking is this, let's be future-proof. Let's, uh, let's, you know, plan for the future accordingly, I say. Boom, there we go, we just made some money. Okay, now we have enough for this building. There we go, all right, we are now future-proof. Now, how do we, come on, over here. Let's see our ledger. No, that's not what we want. When you're in construction, how do I bring up my trains again? <laughs> uh, oh, company details. Okay, here's some information on our company. And take a report here. We've made 183,000. We've spent 46,000, and we've got 1,000 in interest. Ooh, we can reside. No thanks. The blazing rails. We have 35,000 in cash on hand. Pretty good. Look at that sweet little train. You know, for trains that apparently have terrible acceleration, these guys are actually moving pretty fast. Overview mode, nope. Stock market. Well, we can buy and sell stocks. I don't think we want to do that yet. New companies. Rails, okay, we can view our trains. Uh, hold on. Uh, view stations. How do I actually get to, uh, is it this? No, like, how do I lock on to my, my trains? I don't know. I'm not fully versed in this interface. I guess we'll just sort of watch the trains manually. But anyway, we're making money. Let's make expansion plans. Leeds looks exciting, but it's over a hill, which actually makes it slow. Ooh, but Middlesbrough is pretty big. We want to go to... Bermonton, right? Bermonton is where it's at. Let's see here. How do we want to do this? I think we want to go all double rails. Maybe this is really stupid. But I feel like we want to go all double rails. And how much would this cost? 400,000! All right, so we're not, uh, we're not going to uh, Bermonton anytime soon. Let's speed the game up it's very fast. And, uh, boom. Yeah, let's just watch these trains. Um, oh, the year ended. Okay. Oh, look, somebody's buying shares of my railroad company. Uh-oh. That can't be good. That's like a hostile takeover maneuver. How dare you buy property? Uh, growing prosperity. Investors cheers. Economy surges forward. Our happy little rail company that just services between three little uh, towns with speedy service. Going well. I wonder if I could build like a factory or something to like increase the income around here. Holy head. What is this building here? It's just like a random farmhouse. A dairy farm. Huh. That's cool. What's a, hold on. What was this then? This is a sheep farm. Okay, how about this? Let's loop in the sheep farm. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and build, let's just build a single rail. And we'll bring you in right over here. And we're gonna build like a, a nice little station for the sheep farm. And let's get a whole new train for this sheep farm, why not? Uh, and we want sheep farm to there, I guess. I don't know. I don't know uh, who's going to want wool, but let's just set up our little train. There we go. Boom. Another little train is added. Oh, that just, he did a weird turn there. Hold on. I'm going to fix this for him. That, uh, there we go. I like setting up my rails so that you can kind of come at things from either direction. I don't know. It's, it's the OCD inside me. And he's zooming along. 
delivering, what is it, furs or sheeps? Arrived at Manchester. Keep opening our book. Okay, we're at, we seem to be hovering around 230,000 in cash, and it's hard to get more. Hmm. Who are these? House. Random houses. Let's see if we can uh, upgrade maybe some of our hours. Or should we build something? We could build. Let's see. What do we want to build? Oh, no. 1.2 million. Who will and die? 1.6 million. Okay, we don't have enough money to uh, break into any other industry. But, uh, boom times ahead. Mother gives birth to quadruplets. Government economists proclaim perpetual growth. The good times will never end. Nothing bad could possibly happen in the 21st century. Little do they know. I want to figure out how to bring this up every time I want it, because I really like being able to see, you know, what's going on here. Anyway, 264. We're turning profits, but just at a slow rate. Like, it's crazy. And okay, let's investigate going to Leeds. Let's see. If we were to build, let's just build a single rail. Going to Leeds. 475,000. Hmm. Okay, let's issue some stocks. Uh, so how do we do this? There's a way to do this. Our share price is 85. Um, voting Reform Act passed. Thousands of middle-class Britons now allowed to vote. Newly franchised workers demand higher pay. Costs are expected to rise. Uh-oh. Um, let's issue shares somehow. I don't know how we do that. Book value. Um, <laughs> there was a stock tutorial part of this game that I totally skipped. Uh, okay, hold on. I could resign. Ah, uh, here we go. Issue bonds. Amount. Ooh, I want 500,000. Yes. Issue me the bonds, sir. All right, we have all the money in the world. We're going to Binghamton. We're just going to do it with a single rail because... I realized double rails are really expensive. Okay, so there's our Binghamton or Birmingham connection. We also go to Newton if we wanted. Um, but we don't have the money for that right now. Let's build an ultra large station to service Birmingham. Boom. And let's build some trains. Okay, we want to go from here to here to here. Let's say. And we will buy that train. Boom. All right, the years continue to go on. Let's see what's going on in here. Our annual reports. Revenue, 420,000. Profits, 284. Oh, interesting. Okay. Investors are very pleased with your performance. The board of directors increase your salary by 2,000 to 13,000. Wow, we're making $13,000 a year in the 1800s. We're like practically a millionaire. You've been playing four years. You have until 1854 uh, for the bronze. You need to haul 500 uh, total loads. 1,000 for silver. Hmm. That's doable. Right, get out of here. Um, now that we've expanded to Birmingham, by the way, we could create a little empire here. Northampton is very close. I say we do it. We go like this. We build a little station. Uh, we can get even smaller than that, actually. There. We can build a, another train that goes from here to here. Here, let's say. Or no. Uh, hold on. It goes from here to here. Because we only have a single rail this way, so I don't want to send too many trains up there. Anyway, that's fine. Go ahead. Bye. Um, new factory inspection laws expect to substantially increase worker safety. Increase in morale will likely create a boost in productivity. Oh, there you go. Federal regulations. Helping to stir the economy. 
Look at that training go. Zooming along, bringing prosperity and people, I guess, or mail. I don't know. What goes between Northampton and Birmingham? Stuff, I guess. Um, oh, fun fact, I also lived in Scarborough once, which is a suburb of Toronto. It's where Mike Myers is from, um, and Wayne's World. Uh, you know, Wayne's World takes place in Aurora, which is a suburb of Chicago, but that's just a metaphor for Scarborough, which is a suburb of Toronto, which is where he actually grew up. Um, but, you know, Mike Myers uh, becoming successful in America. You got to Americanize your references. So he couldn't say Scarborough in Toronto. So his Wayne character had to be from Aurora in Chicago. Anyway, Blazing Rail stock is split two for one. Sweet. Um, okay, it is time to start paying our bonds back. So, where was this? Um, Northwich has offered a $300,000 bonus uh, for the first railroad to connect to it. Whoa, way over there. Huh. Did we even get there? I almost feel like we could make it there. If we went here... Hold on. Went here... undo we went like this oh god 600,000 to get there uh forget it <laughs> you can keep your 300,000 you gotta pay me twice as much also I like how Britain is just floating in space Bl <laughs> this is a flat earther game guys we're just living on a, on a single plane of England floating in space this game perpetuates flat earth Conspiracy theories. Oh, we're so close to London. Can we get there? Almost. Almost. 478,000. Hey, we have the money. We have the money. We really should pay back our bonds, though. Parliament burns an intense con conflagration. Conflagration. I don't know what that means. Resulting slowdown government is welcome to business leaders. Man, things just keep getting better and better for business. The country is burning. But uh, things are going better and better for business, I guess. Okay. So, if you repay the bond now, you'll incur a 2% prepayment penalty. If you let it run to maturity, no prepayment dues. Um, well, run to maturity then, I guess. I don't know. Um, okay, let's time to build a double rail. We're going to start here. We want to go to London. 1.7, 1, 1.7 1, 7 million. Jeez. All right. Well, you got to do what you got to do. You got to spend money to make money, guys. Nobody became a real, uh, a railroad baron by cutting corners. You know what I mean? Um, all right, I don't even know what that notification was about, but... Boom! We are now connected in London. Yo, made it to the big city. All right, time to create train. Um, ooh, this one's better. All right, a new train. It's also ultra cool. Um, and it's going to go between London and that place up there. And bye. Here we go. Now, the first German railroad. Uh-oh. The Germans are getting railroad technology. That's not good. Time to actually build some maintenance buildings because I have been slacking on that. So we're going to put uh, a couple of those there. One of those there. No, I don't. I need more money. All right. You know you know what, what foolproof plan always works? When you need more money, go into more debt. I feel like that is the way to live life. So... Let's go into more debt. Can't hurt, right? I was always taught that debt's a good thing. How you build your credit score, you get, get, get copious amounts of debt. <laughs> and then somehow that ends up being a good thing. Um, all right, let's connect up Oxford here. We gotta, we gotta, you know what? Forget, forget how much all this costs. We've gotta connect, connect the world, man. It is our mission. 
our holy mission to connect up all the cities of England. Our stock just split again. That's because we're taking on debt. Debt is good. Debt is good. Um, right there. New train from Oxford to London. Uh, go. I don't know what I was thinking about there. Uh, economy boom fading. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Hey, look, we've taken up like a million in debt. We keep like making money, so this is this is making me think that like we're on we're on the right track here. What we're doing is good. You know, we're making it to Northridge. Whatever. Let's do this. Um, well, first we're gonna go to Cambridge. Hold on, undo this. We're gonna go to Cambridge like this. And whatever, we're just gonna go straight up to Northridge. Whatever, we got money to burn. It is time. It is time to connect these places up, man. All right, you guys wanted a railroad station? Blazing, blazing railroad, uh, you know, obliged. And we will also connect up Cambridge. And we will build some maintenance facilities. One right there. This. This. There we go. Now, let's build a new train that goes from London. All the way over there. Look at that. Look at that. We, we've created a sprawling empire is what we've done. We're becoming the barons of England. Now that we do have money, though, we should probably pay back some of these bonds. So if we pay this back early, we pay 2%, but we're paying 7% if we don't. So let's just pay it back. Ooh, Turo's offered 100,000 bonus. Wait, that's not even that much. That's like nothing. Screw you, Turo. Truro, you're trying to trick us. All right, let's pay back a bond. Uh... Yes. This one is okay. 4%. We can do that. Um, ooh, Portsmouth. I, I, I like the, the like multi-star towns. I like one-star towns, I kind of feel like it's not worth our time. But the multi-star towns do entice me. Okay, let's go here. And then also... Down here. And let's build a nice big station for Portsmouth. Um, oh, London is now connected to Portsmouth. Increase port activity, boost factory production. Damn straight. And that was all me. It was all me. Oh, a train has broken. Train 5 has broken down. Train 7 has broken down. Uh-oh. Okay, well, no time to worry about that just yet. We got to build uh, a new route here. Uh, normal economic growth. Okay. And let's go ahead and keep these maintenance areas going. Now let's check our trains. Uh, go away. So one of these broke down. Is it being repaired? Or something? I don't know. I think middle management is hand handling it all. I'm, the, I'm a big picture kind of guy. I just kind of like rake in the cash. Murder in the Park, Detectives Baffles. This is a Jack the Ripper reference. Chartism demands universal suffrage. Uppity workers are demanding more and more of the rights that should be reserved for the upper classes. Higher wage demands expected as well. Those lowly peasants. The, the dirty class wants rights now too. What's next? Freedom? That's foolish. I say we continue to hold the lower classes down. In perpetuity, nothing bad could ever come of that. I'm sure everything will be just fine. As long as we continue to hold the poor down. Um... We link... Brighton into this? Loop? It's only a one-star town. It's full of lower-class people. I don't know if it's worth it. I'm trying to, like, look for, like, where... Where's our next big expansion? I feel like it might be this little trifecta up here. Everything else kind of sucks down here. 
Like getting getting these three connected, that might be worth it. Alright. I said this day would never come, but we're going to Leeds. A million bucks! Insane. Oh, I'll pay it. I'll pay anything to get to Leeds. Um, and now we will build us. Well, I guess it needs a big one. Nice big station. We'll build more track. What the hell? A million bucks. I got the cash. And you got all this money. I might as well spend it all. Um, hold on. Undo. Let's zoom in and see what I'm actually doing here. We want to go all the way up here. Stop. And then we want to build a big station. That. We want to build a train that goes from there to there. Set it up. Recession ahead. Government economists proclaim a period of negative expansion. Oh, come on. The boomtown times are never going to end. There's one thing I've learned from my five years as being a railroad train baron. It's that there's no such thing as a bad economy. Nothing bad could possibly ever happen. Newcastle upon Tyne. That's a very interesting name for a town. So interesting that I think I will build a station up there. Economy crashes. Uh-oh. Is now the time to be expanding? Who knows? But I'm going to build the biggest station that Newcastle has ever seen. Blue dice have gone another rampage. Damage to factories lowers production. Damn blue dice. Always screwing up. Go. All right, we got a bunch of trains going. I don't know. I feel like even though we're perhaps getting to like a, a, a recession period, I feel like our railroad is resilient enough. I think we're bringing in enough enough cash that things are going to be okay. We seem to continually just rake in the cash, so should be fine for us, right? Build a railroad out here. And a railroad to Scarborough. This. And let's build a station. Just a small little station here. And let's build a medium station here. And let's set up a train. Ooh, the Firefly. Gonna have the, the latest technology. We got a new locomotive is available, the Firefly. It's still ultra cool. That's what I like. Uh, the, these railroads, uh, these uh, trains we have are just like so unreliable. New Zealand, an official British colony. The leaders of Mero have agreed to British rule. Wool prices drop 10% as hostilities end. Cool. Marriage of the Queen Victoria to Prince Albert draws thousands of well wishers. Passenger traffic increases dramatically. Doctors recommend more fruit in healthy diet. <laughs> It's just in, if you want to avoid polio, eat more fruit. A huge increase in mail is expected. Cool. Well, I mean, all those updates would be good if I was, like, um, manually sort of managing the cargo of my trains, but uh, all unnecessary uh, because we got middle management and handling it. Also, where... I do have an opponent, right? Where is he building or she building tracks? Because I don't see anyone. One of your trains set a new speed record of 31 miles an effort, uh, miles per hour. Ooh. How about this? The DeLorean Zephyr. I like the name of that. Boom. It's no 88 miles an hour, but it's okay. Ooh, Edinburgh is nice and big, too. Um, Ludites have gone at a rampage. Okay, we have over a million bucks. Did we buy out our uh, bonds? Buy out our bonds again. We pay. All right, we are now debt free. Let's check our stocks. How much stock do we have? We have 8,000 stock. Can we buy some stocks? Let's buy some stocks. Um, okay, can we buy more stocks? Oh, there we go. I bought some stocks. Sweet. Other investors. I wonder if you get like control over your company if you can just do whatever you want like you no longer have shareholders uh rail guide published like if i just buy more stocks 
You don't have enough cash to buy the stock, but you can buy it on margin, borrowing the money. However, if the stock price falls, you may be forced to sell the stock to meet a margin call. No. Okay. So this is getting into like advanced, like Wall Street bets, GameStop kind of like buying on margin stuff. And I don't understand how to do any of that. So we're just going to skip it. And let's build our dream track to Edinburgh. A million bucks. Let's do it. <laughs> Why not? Whatever. It's only a million bucks. And we'll build to Glasgow. And then we will build to Dundee. Boom. And, uh, undo that. There we go. All right, we have track up here, but we have no, you know, station or anything. But we're working on that. Oh, look, we have a half million dollars again. All right, time to build some stations. Go ahead and build a, uh, a big one here. Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I don't think that one is actually connected to anything. Wait, maybe it is. Connected. Connected. Oh no, it's 200,000. Okay, hold on, bring in some more cash. Come on, railroad, generate income. Oh hell, let's just take out another bond. 9% interest. You monsters. Plymouth has offered 300,000 bonus. Well, Plymouth is not where I am planning to go anytime soon, so. Fortunately for the people at Plymouth, they are screwed. Boom. All right. Do it up. Uh, at least one station is not connected. Crap. Okay. So, tax hikes and stuff. So this station that I built, where is it? Over here. It actually is not physically connected. We need to build some extra rails that go to it or something. Um, can I bulldoze? All right, that station was a colossal waste of money. Or is it? Wait, why is that connected? Um, how do I connect these up? There we go. All right, now it's connected. Drawing, drawing the railroad tracks in this game is actually a little tricky. Huh, okay, whatever. Um, build our trains. Okay, a lot of production increase. Boom, boom, boom. Look at this. We are, like, from the north to the south. We have, like, created an empire. I feel like Walter White in Breaking Bad. I'm not doing it for the money or the meth. I'm building an empire. Only in my case, I'm not doing it for the, uh, for the trains, or the cattle, or what, what are the other cargoes? Hold on, what are the cargoes that you can, uh, you can select? I'm not doing it for the pulp wood, or the livestock, or the milk. I'm doing it to build an empire. Who would the Gus Fring be of the, uh, train world? Of the 1843... English train countryside. Who would the, the Gustavo Fring uh, of of, uh, of this era be? The DeLorean Zephyr has broken down? Blasphemy. I kind of want to replace trains, but I don't know of an efficient way to do it, so. So I select you. I don't know what this is. Trains priority is normal. Uh, like, all I want to do is increase, uh, change the engine. I just want to swap the engine. I don't want to change the route or anything. Economy surges ahead. We have 1.5 million. Like, we're at a point where, like, what do you do? I've kind of, like, run out of stuff to do. Let's buy stocks. Or, I guess, um... <laughs> I was about to declare bankruptcy. Let's just pay our stock back. Yay! We paid it. Uh, can we buy more of our stock? Bye. <laughs> How much stock do we have? We have 21,000. What about for this guy's stock? I want to buy the rival stocks. Yes, I can't. Revenue per share. Share price, $68. Book value per share, 80. Hmm. 
123,000 shares out there. I'm never gonna gain control of my company. I guess we don't have a rival. I thought we did, but... Anyway, we're drifting into space again. Our flat Earth England is off floating in space. Like, how would you get to Belfast? Yeah, I guess you'd have to build a bridge. But that's like, seems really expensive. Just to do that. But you know what? Let's do it. <laughs> I talked myself into it. You know, I was just sort of like, yeah, who would, bu who would build a bridge all the way to... Uh, Belfast there, but then I was thinking about it. I'm like, we have two million dollars. What are we saving it for? Let's just let's go to Belfast and along the way Let's build a Station here for ire okay. And all right Belfast, you know what we're coming for you We're coming for you Look at this. Oh, we can't even get over there. Wait, we really can't? So how would you get over there? Let's try this. Can we build a bridge? Oh, we can't. New compound steam is available. Do you want to take advantage of this exciting new technology? Prove all current mo locomotives. Yes. Do that. Uh, bridges. Rare. Never. Common. Average. Hmm. Well, I don't know how to get across this channel here. Like, that's very interesting. Do. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Belfast. I wanted to get to you, but I guess I can't. The DeLorean Zephyr has crashed! Oh my god! I'll we'll replace it. It was like one of the most iconic engines, too. Look at it! Oh my god. Oh, we have a replacement coming, though. Oh, and there we go. Train 9 has crashed! No! What's happening? Replace that one, too. Sure, with the Firefly, why not? Oh my god. My trains, they're not even crashing, they're just exploding on the tracks. <laughs> I think we're putting too much coal into these things, guys. Uh, where's my middle management? I w uh, where's the option to chew out your middle manager for overloading the cars? Um, okay. You know, there's 400,000 just laying out around out here. We're going for it. Let's see how much money it costs us to build a track that goes all the way there. So we're gonna go like this. Uh, so first, I guess let's go do Dorchester. Hold on, undo this. Go from here to, to Dorchester. Go from Dorchester to. Why can't we do this? Huh. 1.7 million. We just start building over here. Oops. Do this. You know, I was used to the, um, the old school railroad tycoon where you could only build rails that were, like, connected to rails you already had, but it seems like you can just build rails wherever you want. Like, you're allowed to just do pretty much anything. Um, why can't I connect this up? Get to Plymouth! There we go. Then you get to here. Then you come over here, and then you come down here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Um. The giant thing there. I only build the biggest, most intimidating railroad stations that mankind has ever seen. Boom. Boom. And we're gonna build a giant one for Truro just cause we can. And we're gonna build a, uh... <laughs> hey look, the, the, I was gonna say the Bluth, but the Buth. Yeah, go ahead and buy that one. I don't even know what these trains cost, I'm just buying whatever. Um, 1845, all right, just build a maintenance thing. Not that it's doing us any good or stopping our trains from crashing, still. And so I guess these four are all brand new, so we're gonna create a new route between them. Boom, 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 boom. All right, take it away, Buth. All right, is there any... <laughs> I feel like we're just linking all these towns together. This feels, by the way, way easier than the first Railroad Tycoon, which I appreciate, like, it's so... Compared to the original Railroad Tycoon on DOS, 
This one does feel like sort of like you can play it. It's a more speedy game. It's simpler uh, in some ways. It's more advanced, but it's also simpler because certain things have been automated for you. Um, oh no, a train crashed. Or is down. Um, it's cool for sure, and I like the 3D element of it, and I can zoom in and out. I mean, the the original one, the original DOS version, the, you can't, you know, the 2D sprite graphics that were in that game, the charm of that is just beyond anything 3D could ever produce. So it's like, even though I think functionally the graphics in this one are better, um, and it, the interface is better, that old DOS era original, I think still personally, like, looks better from an artistic sense to me. It has more character. This feels like, you know, like just all 3D graphics are like this, where they try and be like photorealistic. Like there's not like character to the to the buildings or anything necessarily. They're they're fine. You know, I'm not I'm not ragging on them because they're bad. It's just uh, you know, it's uh this doesn't have the same charm, I guess, as the old DOS version. But in terms of gameplay, you know, so many things have been simplified uh, yeah, the, even though it's a more advanced game, it's like much easier to play. It seems a little easier just in general to like do well in the game. Like not even just to play, but to like succeed. Like my guy's like a multi-millionaire. Um, like what else can we do here? We can buy back stock. Uh, buy back 8,000 shares. Yes. I'm gonna buy back more stock. Yeah, buy back all the stock. Okay, we're gonna, we're, I don't know if this is a good thing or a bad thing. Oh, there are no other companies to merge with. I'm gonna try and buy back all my stock. That's what I'm gonna start spending my money on. Because frankly, frankly, I don't think we need to expand to any more towns. Like we're, we have so much money. <laughs> It's just, it's just like an endless stream of money. I think at this point, we're just going to try and get total control of our company. Uh, and I don't know what that will even do for us, but we're going to try and do it. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a cool game for sure. Uh, we're not done yet. I know it sounds like I'm wrapping up, but we are going to go to the year 2100 just to see out of genuine curiosity. But let's spend a bit of time buying some stocks back. Because uh, I assume that there's a thing gonna continue to buy all the stock if i change the dividend to nothing well people want to sell me the stock because it's worthless are you allowed to do that buy more stock buy more stock buy more stock buy more stock the companies don't have enough money oh the companies are gonna get some more money don't you worry we just print money at uh, the blazing rails my stock is split. Has it? So I have 46,000 personally. 198,000? Stop splitting the stock, damn it. I'm trying to buy it all. I'm trying to do a hostile takeover of myself. I don't know why. So we have outstanding shoes. I don't even know how much stock we have. Buy back stock. I just basically don't want anyone else to uh, be getting any kind of uh, money out of my company. I just want all the money for myself. The credit rating is AAA. We have zero dollars in debt. Damn. Wait, we could also issue stock if we want. So we can get 568,000 whenever we want. But instead I want to buy it all back. Um, Pembroke has offered a $200,000 bonus. Where's Pembroke? Way over there. Screw it. Oh no, we're in debt! Your company's... We're, we briefly did not have enough cash to cover. Okay, maybe we should stop the stock buyback briefly. Uh, look at our stock price, though. It's just continually shot up. It's split. It's divided. Continually gone up forever. So I don't know who Isambard Kingdom Brunel is, but I hate that he has 32,000. Uh, stocks of my company feels like I don't trust him. I don't trust him not to do something nefarious with that. You know, so we're gonna keep buying stock back. Uh, change my dividend. Dividend rate. Ooh, if we drive the dividend rate lower, then the stock price might go down. Then we can buy back even more stock. 
Why don't companies do this? Let's try it. Let's try and manipulate the markets here. There is no more dividends. Dividends are over. You might as well just sell me the stock. Might as well just sell it all back to me. 3,000. Sure, why not? One more. 1,000. They're selling it back to me in smaller increments. Alright. 73,000 out there. Alright, let's just go ahead and buy all the stock. Eee, we're buying it. We're buying it. Oh, look, the stock price is firing up. We're short squeezing. We're short squeezing. <laughs> we're pulling a GameStop. Uh, I hope the stock price continues to go up. Receive the call from your broker. It seems there's a bit of a deficit in your account. You must sell off enough shares uh, to bring your purchasing power above zero by the end of June. Uh oh. Well, let's uh, start selling some shares then. Oh god. There we go. Oh. We were almost there too. I don't. Sell! Sell it all! <laughs> sell it all! <laughs> sell it all! Oh god, sell. Okay. I don't know. Did that. Did we come out ahead? Did we come out ahead? Buy back more stock. This this game has shifted from like uh, a railroad simulator. The gaming J desperately tries to manipulate the stock market and is not sure if what he's doing is good or bad. But I am desperate to 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 wrestle control of my company back. Uh, uh oh, we're 160,000 in the hole. Economy is slowing. No, stock prices go up. Stock go up. Place the engine. Sure, go ahead and buy it. Um, let's just ride it out. I have a good feeling that our stock's about to skyrocket. Let's do this. Come on. Oh no, it's going down further. <laughs> Purchasing power. We're in the hole. We're in the hole. Let's hide this. I don't want to. I don't want to look at it. Uh, oh man, fifty nine thousand. Hey, look, but we made. Oh no, wait, that's the other guy. Oh my God, we failed. All right. Well, anyway, um, our company has been doing fine, I guess. Um, you know, we only have four more years here. Let's just, uh, let's fast forward and see what happens here at the end. Because I, I feel like I'm done building railroads. Um, we have four years. Let's, let's see what happens. Did I actually do the thing I was supposed to do? I think I was supposed to run like 500 loads. And I built a fairly successful railroad road network, I think. Beyond all the, the, the trains that keep breaking down. But okay, I'm not going to buy back any stock. We tried that. I totally failed. I'm not going to build any more stations. Let's see what happens in 1854. Actually, I lied. I have an idea to screw over this guy. Make his stock worthless. We're just going to start issuing stock. We're going to issue all the stock. Oh, no. We can only do it twice. Crap. I wanted to make... Yeah, look at the price. It's, di it's dived. I wanted to run the stock down to zero, make him sell, then like jam it all back up. I want to get involved in insider trading. How do I do it, guys? I want to be on the inside. I want to be trading. I want to manipulate things to make myself rich. People do it all the time. Somebody leave a comment down below and tell me how to get rich in the stock market. I want to do this for real. I probably would end up in jail, though. All right, we're getting near the end of 1854, and I believe this is going to be the end of our career. My calculations are correct. We have been a real estate, or no, a, a railroad baron for about 25 years. And I guess, uh, you know, after 25 years, time to retire. So let's see what happens. Game date, uh, the game started in 1829. December, this is it. We have 4.6 million. Which is actually less than I thought we would build up by just sitting here for a couple of years. I thought we'd have like 10 million or something, but our company is highly profitable. Congratulations, a uh, bronze. 
Yeah, I guess our company was not as uh, vibrant as I thought. England will at least manage to keep up with the rest of Europe with uh, you at the helm of the railroad system. Geez, I'm running the whole railroad system, am I? You've made the high school enter your name for posterity's sake. George Jason. There we go. The George Jason Collection. Um. Okay, let's go to the year 2100. Nope. I guess I could have continued... <laughs> Oh, excuse me. <coughs> I guess I could have continued to uh, build, you know, stations and rails and stuff. Spend that 4.6 million. I might have been able to get silver or uh, silver or gold even. Anyway, now let us jump to the distant cyberpunk future of the railway system. See what uh, the future awaits or what awaits us in the future. Let's go to California Island. How about Chicago to New York? Mega city to mega city in the year 2100. Boom! Show me the future. I just want to see what kind of railways are available. And why are there still... <laughs> Wait. The year 2100, people are living in, like, old Victoria era houses. And they have, like... Like, what is this? Like, wheat farms? Are you joking? 2100! Why is it, why aren't we in like, you know, where's the like laser cars and stuff? Also, why why do railways still exist in the year 2100? Do you think rails will still be used uh, in the year 2100? I don't know. Okay, let's build New York to Philadelphia real quick here. So let's go with a double rail because we're in the future and because money is no object. New York. By the way, this is New York City in the year 2100. <laughs> It looks like a rural farming community. Uh, here's a big building. The only It's the only building that remained after the uh, apocalyptic robot nuclear wars, I guess. And then we'll build a giant station here. Because, sure. Why wouldn't we? I don't know. There we go. New York. Philadelphia. And... Okay, at least we have somewhat futuristic uh, brains. The DDX, the DD80X. That's so a high-speed train, I guess. This is uh, another fast train, I guess. Reliability near perfect. Type diesel. Acceleration instant. Wow. These are some advanced trains. The Red Devil. Okay, let's build. Let's build two of these and race them. In fact, three of these. That was released in 1998. Okay, we'll build these two. So you can go from there to there. And let's build another train. This one. And go from there to there. The opposite route. Uh, you said an electric... Okay, how do you... How do you build an electric track? It's like a mystery. Okay. Change terrain. Add trees. Yeah, look at this. Look at the trees! We're building a forested New York. We're reforesting. Are reforcing the uh North America? I can look, you can also like build mountains and stuff. Whoa. Okay, no, you can't. Can you? Be able to. Whoa. Okay, don't seem to be able to do that either. I don't know how any of that works. Anyway, where's our super fast trains? Go! Oh, look at that train fly! Wow! It arrived in New York so fast that it didn't even carry anything. It didn't have enough time to get anything. That's how fast it was. Um, I guess we can't build our second train. Any, anyway, the year 2100 is a, is a definite disappointment. Why? It, like, we've still got, like, 1930s, 1800s music in the background. Like, it's the Wild West. The year 2100, at least give me cyberpunk stuff. It'd be really cool if, as you went through the eras, like, the cities changed and became more technological. That's kind of That'd be kind of cool. Like, I understand that the, the appeal of this game is to play in the 1800s and the 1930s and to play, like, an old-timey train game. I get that. But if you're going to give me the option for the year 2100, you damn well better make it a cyberpunk sci-fi future. Damn it. And uh, the cargo better be, like, cloning vats and, like, you know, arc reactors and all sorts of other sci-fi awesome technology, but... Anyway, this has been Railroad Tycoon 3, one of the games in the book, a thousand one video games you just play before you die. I think if you liked the original Railroad Tycoon, uh, the old DOS version, 
and you're looking for sort of a nice polished modern version of that, this will definitely scratch that itch. I feel like, you know, uh, I was a huge fan of the DOS version. And as I already said today, you know, like uh, several minutes back now, but as I already said, I feel like this is more advanced, but also easier to play, easier to win. Um, it's still fun. I mean, you might want to turn the difficulty up if you want a challenge. I feel like that old DOS game had quite a bit of challenge to it, but there was a lot of fun in figuring out how to beat it. So you, you probably could just turn the difficulty up on this and have the same experience. But um, but yeah, if you like the old DOS version, I think you'll like, you'll like this game. It is cool how it's like, you know, you're... Uh, you're a railroad tycoon baron, but you can also get into like the hotel industry and you can build factories and like you can issue stocks and play the stock market. You can manipulate stocks. Oh my God, a jet. Okay, well, I guess there's like one little hint that it's not the 1800s. Anymore. Oh, that's cool. I like follow it. Um, but uh, yeah, you know, if, if you like those kinds of like business simulator games, I think the railroad tycoon series has always done a pretty good job. So yeah, you might find some joy in this one. Um, but other than that, like, what do you guys think of this game? Is it a game that you played back in the day? Is it a game that you haven't played, but you're looking at it now and, like, you're kind of curious, maybe? Or maybe you're looking at it and you're like, yeah, I don't know if it's for me. Whatever the case may be, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And as always, whatever you guys think of the game, I hope today was interesting and entertaining for you. So always don't forget to like the video and all that stuff. And other than that, I will catch you guys in the next one. So until next time, my friends, you'll take care of yourselves. And uh, from this uh, New York to Philadelphia endless high-speed train loop that really is carrying nothing. Well, I guess it is carrying technically cargo. But anyway, from this short little uh, loop in the year 2100, this is Gaming J signing off saying peace. Eee, we're buying it. We're buying it.